Hi everyone. Today I want to tell you about how to grow a lime tree in a pot. I've been working on this now for three, three and a half years, and there's been a progression of repotting and other steps I've taken that have really allowed these trees to become successful fruiting um, plants. So this lime tree here is one I was mentioning. It's about three and a half years old. I do bring them in over the winter, but I've got them moved out now for the spring of 2024. When I, I purchased it online, it was about a foot and a half tall, would be my guess, and really not much more than a stick. So at this point, I've now got really a plethora of limes that have grown another 50% since I've moved it out about a month ago from inside underneath some artificial grow lights which I'll show you later. These are between a golf ball and uh, quite a bit smaller than a baseball but they're about they're bigger than a golf ball and this one's probably got about 10 on it. Let's see here's one I just showed you three one down there one over in the back. Let's try to zoom in here on this one. Lots of new growth as you see me kind of panning around. Lots of new growth that's popped up since I've moved this out and repotted it. Now this pot that I've repotted it in is about 128 quart. What I moved them from was probably half that and they were already beginning to get root bound. So this will probably be my final stage. <laughs> Uh, just for one because of the cost of these pots and I've got to be able to move these things back in and this is probably going to weigh a few hundred pounds it took three two cubic foot bags of dirt plus the dirt and root ball with the original tree to get it to this level and that's all I'm going to want to move if I can even move it back in this fall so maybe we'll have to get a skidster or something over here but also besides the the growth that I've seen on the actual lines, it started to reflower again now. And I saw these buds showing up just a few days ago. The flowers really progress fast. Once you start seeing this little purple and white uh, bud, it's only a couple days before you see the one here on the bottom left that's all white. And then another couple days you'll see one fully open. The smell of these flowers is just great. If you put them in one room and you have this tree flower it will fill the entire room with a fragrance that's just just awesome so I will show you here in a moment what size pot I started in and how long it took before I moved it to the next size pot so here we go okay so this pot here is what I started these in about three years ago it's only about a foot tall and maybe 10 inches across. It doesn't hold much dirt. But I left them in that for over a year. Um, it was really a guess when they were root bound, but I was able to pull the entire root ball out and move it from that size pot up to what I now have moved my cacao tree in that you've seen in some other videos. I moved them into this pot, which is more of a, maybe 18 inches across and the same height. And I just took them out of that this year and moved them into those large 128 quart pots. And again, they were root bound within this after another year, year and a half. So I, I think they were progressing at the right speed. The root balls not over watering because these are plastic pots. So I don't have a lot of uh, water loss unless the tree is drinking it or uh, a little bit drains out the bottom. But these plastic pots do hold water very well. And if you over water or over oversize your pot, you're going to kill your plant. The roots will be all rotted. Um, so from there, let's go back to the lime tree. Okay, so now that it's been moved into this larger pot and the lime growth has accelerated, I don't think I'll catch up on where these limes should be as far as time and size. They really started flowering indoor under 100% artificial light, um, maybe November, December at the latest. And they should be quite a bit bigger than this if it was all natural and in a tropical climate or subtropical. So uh, I'm happy with what I've got here after artificial light getting them to 
you know, a size larger than a golf ball, not this size yet. But I'm hoping that after another month or two, those limes will be ready to pick. They're starting to starting to lighten up in color, which is really what you're going to want. Start to see a consistent lightening of the skin all the way around. These are still firm enough. Uh, they're they're almost feel like they're about to start losing some of that firmness. You don't you want them to be hard, but not you want them to be firm but not hard. You want them to be uh, soft but not not squishy before they're ready to pull off. But it's really added some weight to this branch. You can see how it even started making it grow down. Though it's weight instead of growing up toward the sun because these were really flowered on here before that got too big of a girth on that branch. Anyway, that's the lime trees I've been working on for about three years now. I think we'll have an entire crop on this one next year. Good enough to pick off when we swim and make some margaritas with. So like and subscribe. I'll continue making more videos about my other plants. Leave a comment if you have any questions, things I've done, things I've ran into. And I'll be happy to get back with you. Thanks for watching.